What is up everyone? John back here with another video and today I'm really excited. Got the Lumen Top Thor 1 LEP flashlight. Been wanting one of these for quite some time now. Let this uh, plane pass by because I am outside. <laughs> Hopefully they're going to the Bahamas or something. <laughs> so I've been wanting this light for quite some time. Uh, well, LEP light in general for quite some time. This one hasn't been out for too, too long, but tonight I'm gonna do some beam shots in my normal test site, which is the tree all the way at the very tippy top, right back there. And then of course, I'm gonna do the second tree, which is right past that, right there. That one right there. So that is all this is for tonight, is beam shots. So let's wait no further, let's try this bad boy out. So this only has two modes. It's got a high and a low and a strobe mode too um, but there's no in between no other modes than that and this is simply a thrower that's all it is is designed to throw light as far as the eye can see and for such a tiny package too i mean it, it, it look at this thing how it fits in my hands i mean you could cover almost this whole thing up with a good grip of it so absolutely insane technology like i said it, it's it's only good for throwing light as far as you want to see light go um, but if you were tracking something i guess it's good for that but outside of that it's really just a novelty piece just so you can say i have this little light that shoots 1200 meters of throw um it's only 400 lumens if i remember correctly i'll put the stats on the screen when i edit this video but yeah it's not very many lumens but with with a lep light you don't need that many lumens because the candela, you know, two, three hundred thousand candela from this little guy is more than enough to wash away the lumen output. So let's wait no further. Let's test this thing out. Okay, so no spill on these whatsoever. You got the beam and that's it. Just for something up more close and personal. That pole right there is about 15 feet from where I'm standing. Same with those flowers. My car is about uh, 10 feet further so maybe 30 feet away from where I'm standing just so you can see the uh, beam performance on here that tree is probably 30 40 feet away from where I'm standing and this is on the low setting too so get those bushes across the streets this thing is just such a beast of light i mean it's, it's such a punchy center like i said with absolutely no spill so we'll do before and after in that corner right there because it lights up that corner pretty well actually before after that garage way in the back back there let me zoom that in that garage is at least 100 feet away and it lights it up no problem so all right let's get this on the tree see how well it does <laughs> it's like no problem hits that tree no problem even the one in the back that further one it hits it no problem i mean it's even these trees way over there See if I can zoom in on that. I mean, that's nuts, dude. Those trees gotta be, I don't, I don't even know how far those trees are away, but they are very far away. Tree all the way in the back behind the big one. Lights that up, no problem. Amazing performance from this little thing. This technology is just unbelievable. Let's zoom back out. We'll go ahead and put it on high. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> if that is not just an absolute lightsaber, I, I don't know what is. Let me uh, adjust this camera real quick. 
Look at that, dude. Aiming at the moon. <laughs> wow, that is just insane. Now, obviously, on high, you're going to get a lot more usable spill than on low. Uh, it's still very punchy, though. I mean, it doesn't light up much. If it's pointing at that very tippy top of the tree, like it is, it only lights up from the top of the tree, maybe 10 feet lower than that, if that. But, man, is that a punchy beam right there. Further tree back there. Easily lights that up trees behind that main tree easily lights that up same with the ones even further than that easily now compared to a lot of other flashlights you got to be careful with this one make sure you don't hit a plane or something because it will it will make contact with a plane go ahead and zoom out on that just so you can get some perspective on how far that really is from where I'm standing That is absolutely insane. <laughs> Lumen Top Thor 1. And it, of course, glows up now on the inside of the, uh, the bezel. Has a cool glow to it. Pretty sweet. Little touches like that. It's just, it's just cool that they thought of that to put a glow ring inside so after you use it it lights up the color blue or blue it's like a bluish green actually and same with the tail switch the tail switch kind of flops around from color to color let's try to get it dark over here so yeah if it, it has like a red greenish blue it's got a few colors on this thing but for a couple hundred dollars i mean it better have some lights, <laughs> glow in the dark lights. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. One more time, main tree down here. Turbo, or high I guess you could say, because these I don't think these even come with a turbo mode. <laughs> Absolute insane beam performance. I mean, it's, eventually I will get this into a site where I have a lot further testing site than just the trees around my neighborhood but yeah I mean if something was over there you could clearly see that clearly see that so so yeah man this this thing is absolutely beast now if you actually needed to use it it's not very useful like you could definitely see over here if something was over here but not a very useful light as far as trying to see things but that's not what these are for these are for literally just throwing light and a lot of candela so well that's it for tonight guys i'll have more videos to come more comparisons more everything make sure you like share and subscribe catch you guys on the next one peace